Hey guys, welcome back to the channel everyone. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Today we are going to review about the legendary motorcycle, the all new Thunderbird 350X and its specifications. Now let's check it out, it's the, it is the best. Let's talk about the looks of this motorcycle. The Thunderbird 350X is a classic motorcycle. The most of these parts in this motorcycle are made up of metal. So they are more strong and durable than the plastic and the fiber parts. The paint scheme in this motorcycle is very good and bright enough and which gives it a classy look for this motorcycle. Now let's talk about the engine of this motorcycle. The all new Thunderbird 350X gets a 346cc single cylinder air cooled engine which can produce a maximum power of 19.8 bhp at 5200 rpm and 28 Nm of torque at 4000 rpm and it consists of a 5 speed gearbox in it next it consists of a 2 spark plugs in it the Thunderbird 350X gets a twin disc in it the front disc is about 280 mm and the rear disc is about 240 mm and we also get an ABS as an option but this motorcycle is a non ABS variant the Thunderbird 350X gets a tubeless tires in it, in which the rear section is about 120 by 80 mm and the front section is about 90 by 90 mm. The MRF tires provide good road stability on the roads. The suspension in this motorcycle is very comfortable for touring. In front section we get a 41 mm forks and the rear section we get a gas charged tubes which are very comfortable and it is adjustable. This speedometer consists of pure analog plus digital speedometer which shows the average of the motorcycle, the speed of the motorcycle, the RPM limit, neutral and the fuel efficiency of the motorcycle and the battery indicator and the time. The fuel tank capacity in this motorcycle is around 20 liters and the reserve capacity is around 2 liters and we can expect an average mileage of 30 to 35 kilometers in the city and 40 kilometers on the highways. The weight of this motorcycle is around 195 kg and its ground clearance is about 134 mm and the short riders can easily ride this motorcycle. It's a better touring motorcycle. You can see my position on this motorcycle. It is very comfortable. Company claims the top speed of the motorcycle as 110 km per hour. I reach around 120 km per hour on the highway. This bike consists of a projector plus halogen headlamp which is very bright and a ring light which is very bright enough I will show you the brightness of these lights you can see the brightness of these lights they are very bright enough during night conditions 
in the ray section we get an LED tail light and the indicator is not LED but it is tiny but it is bright enough. The tail light is also tiny but it is made up of LED hence it is very bright enough. Uh, during the night conditions the backside people can easily spot them out. I will show you the brightness of these lights. You can see the brightness of this indicator and this tail light. They are very bright enough. They can be easily spotted during the night conditions. You can see this brightness of these lights. Now let's talk about the main point in this motorcycle. The cost of this motorcycle is around 1.65 lakhs ex showroom price Hyderabad and we have to pay 8000 more for the ABS model in it. Now in my opinion it's a better touring bike because it has all the capabilities of a touring bike. Its handling is good, it gives a good mileage, it, uh, it has a good road performance, its fuel tank capacity is good and it all has all the capacities of a touring bike. Hence you can uh, easily take this bike as a touring bike. I hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit a like button and do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you will not miss our daily updates and let's take a short spin on this motorcycle.